and my name is Godwin and I am a child of God. I have come to understand that a lot of us who love Jesus Christ is so hard for us to live the life of Jesus Christ because of our daily activities and I am here to let you know that we should not take it so hard to live the life of Jesus Christ the best way to live the life of Jesus Christ daily is like this when you wake up in the morning as you rise up from your bed you take your mantle of prayer and you said in the name of Jesus as I arise from the bed this morning I give my life to you O oh Lord every challenges and pains in my life I drop them off and I put on the armor of Jesus today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. After you have prayed this, you take your communion. When you take your communion, you say this is the body and this is the blood. As I eat and drink the body and the blood of Jesus, today the life of Jesus, the spirit of Jesus is living in me. Everywhere I go, the Holy Spirit goes with me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As soon as you do this, you will receive a fresh thought in your mind. You will begin to feel the Holy Spirit in your heart. Then you take your normal daily activities, you take your bag, you put on your shoes, and now you are walking. As you are going on the road, Sometimes you see some poor people, you see some beggars, and you should remember that Jesus Christ said, He that gives to the needy is given unto the Lord. This is why the song, there is a song that says, Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers is what you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Dying to the home of my father. This is Jesus Christ. As you're moving on the road, you see the poor. You have little, you, you give. And we should remember that the scripture says, we should not think about our tomorrow, for our tomorrow will take care of itself. So, if you believe that Jesus Christ is living in you, you don't have to worry. You don't have to think about your pain. You don't have to think about anything that is not of God. Because the more you keep thinking about the things that are affecting your daily activities, you will not remember to carry Jesus upon yourself. But even when you have pain in your leg and you say, oh, forget the pain. Jesus Christ is in me. Before you know it, believe me, brother, you will begin to walk and the pain will go. But some people think this is trick. They think it's, uh, Jesus Christ is religious. The, some people say like you have the Muslims, they say they have their religion and we have the Christians and they have their religion. But I say to people, Jesus Christ is not a religion, but Jesus Christ is life. Is the life that we are living, is the blood that is flowing in us, is the spirit that is dwelling in us. Without him, nothing was made. I tell you the truth, believe it or not, without Jesus Christ, nothing was made on this earth. From the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, he is the king, he is the Lord. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the A 
ancient of days. The I am that I am. Jesus is. The moment you take his armor and put it on upon your life, upon yourself, every day to day activities, you will find out that when you are sitting, you'll be hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. Whatever you need to do, the Holy Spirit will be directing you. Whenever you are having challenges, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. This is how you will go about it. And when you go truly this way, you will be free. Because Jesus Christ said to us that there is going to be challenges. There is going to be temptations. There is going to be trials. We must remember to fast and pray that the devil has declared war upon the body of Christ. This is the reason for afflictions. This is why you see a lot of people are sick. But believe you me, the day you put off all your pains and sorrows and agony and put on Jesus Christ, I tell you the truth, that sickness will not be asked to move before the sickness moves. Whatever challenges, they will roll away because Jesus fought the battle and won. When he was crucified, they met him on the cross and they said to him, you said you are the son of God. Save yourself now. You said you are the son of God. You will, you will destroy the temple and build it in three days. Look at you now. Save yourself now. But on the third day, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, when he gave up the ghost, the blood dropped on the earth and there was an earthquake. The scent from heaven arose. This is what the scripture says. Let me read some verses for you in the scriptures. It's here. This is Jesus. He said it, and that, that is how it is. The restoration. Yes, the, the restoration. Matthew chapter 28. In the end of the Sabbath, as it begins to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Mandalay and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, and the angels of the Lord descend from heaven and came to roll back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow and for fear of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men these were the people that the 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 the, the, the governor as at that time sent to go and protect the tomb that he may not rise And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And when they went there, they didn't see him again. He has risen. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, the goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy. And did run to bring his disciples word. And 
Acts, they went to tell his disciples, Behold, Jesus met them after he has arose from the grave. He met them, saying, All oh, hey. hail. And they came and heard him by his feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. This is Jesus Christ. This is Jesus Christ. This is Jesus Christ. So my brethren, I just want to use this opportunity to say to you, for you to be able to live the life of Jesus Christ daily, this is the secret. One, when you wake up in the morning, take your Bible, read some verses, and pray. As you pray, say with your mouth, because the scripture says, whatsoever you declare with your mouth shall come to pass. Just speak it with your mouth and say, every of my pains and my sorrows, every of my challenges, I drop you today and I put on the armor of Jesus Christ. Today I live the life of Jesus Christ. Everywhere I go, I command the Holy Ghost to go with me. I command the power of Jesus Christ to rest upon me. This is the secret. Then you take your bath, you take your belongings, you put on your shoes, and you're going for your daily activities. As you go, whatever challenges you meet on the road, don't let the name Jesus Christ depart from your mouth. Let the word J-E-X-U-X, -X, remain in your mouth and in your heart. Because what your mouth, your mouth speak at all times is what stays in your heart. This is the secret. Where, as you are moving, when you meet challenges on the road, call the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When the challenges is so difficult, escape. If, you have, if there's nothing you can do, remember when Jesus Christ was born, King Herod seek for his life. And the angel appeared to, the, to, his, to, to Joseph and said to him, take this young son and his mother and escape to, Israel, and, uh, to Egypt. If Jesus, if there was no, if there was no way, if it, if it was easy, God would have said, stay. King Herod cannot do nothing. But he came in another dimension and Jesus Christ was taken to Egypt until King Herod was dead before he came back. You see? So as you are moving in your daily activities in life, wherever you are having challenges and you find out that you cannot do nothing, try much as possible and escape. If you escape and succeed the escape, Jesus Christ has rescued you. All you need to say is, thank you, Jesus, I'm free today. But if you cannot escape and you can solve the problem, attend to the problem and solve it. Oh, yeah. You can be coming on the road and you find somebody having an accident or whatsoever, and you come, oh, oh, wow, I, I want to help. You come down, you take the body and you rush to the hospital. You can make a call, phone call to the police and say, oh, I met this uh, accident on the, on the highway and I, we can no longer wait for the ambulance to come. This is why I have to rescue him. Please come to my aid. You rush him to the hospital and leave the rest for the government to handle. You have done your own part of it. When you're walking on the street and you find somebody with no shoes, walking with barefoot, you can look at him and say, oh, you have no shoes. Do you want one? And he said, yes, you can see. Okay, I have one in my car. Take. If you're going and you find somebody walk up to you and say, oh, brother, I have not eaten today. I am so hungry. Look at what you have and say, oh, you are hungry. Come. Take him to where there is food. Buy him some food. And as soon as he eats, 
dip hand into your pocket and give him little thing like 10 euros or 20 euros and say take you have done your own part of it and this is what Jesus said we should do this is how Jesus said we should live when anybody offends you walk up to you and say hey you young man you are stupid you do this nonsense you do that I slap you you look at him if you can calm him down, you calm him down. But if you cannot calm him down, walk away. And as you walk away, don't keep these grudges in your heart. Don't be angry of him. This is what Jesus said. And this is how it is. And if you continue to apply this attitude, this style of life, in your daily life you will find out that on the last day you will be part of the saints that will come and rule the earth with jesus and the truth remains jesus christ is coming back whether the devil like it or not jesus christ is coming back no one can stop that and the time is now if you have not given your life to Christ, now listen to me and you say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today from the bottom of my heart in every area where I have wronged you and the time I have not been with you. I come to you and I say sorry. Please forgive me. Make me whole and live in me again in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when you say this, you should simply know that you are born again. Hallelujah. From this moment, start to do good things. Start to think like a child of God. So my brothers and sisters, this is what I have for you today. And today is Good Friday. We are living in Deutschland. Sorry, my Dutch is not so good. But yet, it's a decent understanding. You must give your life to Christ. This is the time and the hour. Thank you very much and God bless you. Amen.